Inside the Nelson County Sheriff's Office, behind the brick walls, Brooks Houck answered the detective's questions. What do you think happened? I'm shocked. I do not know. Days after his girlfriend was reported missing, he told the detective he last saw Crystal after a night at his mom's farm. It was late, and they were at the home they shared. I went to bed immediately. Brooks said he couldn't explain how her car ended up on the side of the Bluegrass Parkway. I guess the, the biggest problem that I have is that most women are not going to walk away from their purse and their cell phone in the car. I agree with you. Brooks answered questions, and then he answered his phone. Sure. It was Brooks' brother on the other end, Hello. Bardstown police officer Nick Houck. I know you told me innocent people have got jammed up, but if you're telling me to leave, I'll get up and leave. If you want me to, if you want me to... And then the interview was over. Taking his brother's advice, Brooks left the interrogation room. Nick kind of injected himself in a in a in a in a way that I didn't like. Um, ethics and integrity sometimes are all we have and um, I didn't think he displayed a good uh, example of either. It didn't sit right with Nick's boss, the Bardstown police chief. And then, when Nick refused to talk to investigators, Chief McCubbin had had enough. But I said, I am going to the mayor as soon as you leave this office and you're not gonna wear a badge. You, you do not deserve to be a police officer. Um, and he was very, okay. <laughs> I thought, wow, okay. Nick was fired from the Bardstown Police Department on the same day his brother, Brooks Houck, was named the main suspect in Crystal Rogers' disappearance. It was October 2015, and under a different sheriff, though newly elected Sheriff Raymond Penaroa stands by the naming of the suspect. I would say he's still the uh, main suspect in the case. Um, nothing has changed in, in the investigation that leads us to believe Anybody else is uh, the, the main suspect. But Brooks has never been charged. What people don't understand or the misconception is, yes, we can go make an arrest today, but if we don't have what we need, we go to trial and he walks out that same day and says, yep, I did it. You can't charge him, it's double jeopardy. So uh, the main part is you gotta get your evidence, your ducks in a row, and once you have that, um, you, you'll move forward with the case. Because moving forward is important, but this sheriff says more than anything, he wants to get it right. Uh, I believe it's uh, what we do, our job, and uh, I believe the family deserves that. Um, we may not have a body, but uh, at the end of the day, closure for them, um, closure for this town. Mm -hmm.